Welcome to the show this week, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm not doing anything special. I just want to bring up an important point here. My computer took a shit the other week. And it scared the hell out of me, all right? I'm not going to lie. I was working on it, and uh, the screen just went white on me. It's like, what the fuck? You know, what do you do? You force shut it off and do a reboot on it. I did that. It didn't get past the white screen, and I was like, oh, fuck. So what does any tech guy do when he's trying to figure something out? Jump on the internet. Luckily, I got my phone and my tablet, so I could do that on a separate device. Looking through the forms, I found this page from Apple about everything you should try. Let's check it out here. See, Apple here has a bunch of different things you can try when you start your Mac, just to like reset it. I got this safe mode. So you, you boot your computer up, you hear the chime, uh, you're gonna wanna hold your shift key down. Try that, that didn't work. Uh, there's all these other ones too. Startup manager, uh, I tried booting from my thumb drive with Yosemite on it. I could get to that screen, but the thumb drive wouldn't show up. I did the hardware test, that came up good. So all these options here, I even tried, at one point I did reset the VRAM here, and I got, I managed to get in, not too much longer later, I was working and then white screen again. I was like, oh fuck, something, it's gotta be hardware related. But what, what I was able to do, I believe it was verbose mode, where you can go get into the command prompt and I found the correct command where you could bypass your graphics card. Type that in, did that, and then I got in fine, but it's, of course it's slow as fucking hell, but at least you get access to your files and all that. So, right off the bat, I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is a graphics card issue. Did a little searching, and it turned out Apple did have a replacement program here for it. AMD Radeon 6970, and it affects the uh, iMac computers that were sold between May 2011 and October 2012. Pretty good year span there. And it was just the 27-inch uh, the Core i5. 3.1 or the 3.4 gigahertz i7, which is what I have, causing the computer's display to appear distorted, white, or blue with vertical lines. I was, I had white. So what did I do? I went on ahead and went, I don't have an official Apple store in my neck of the woods. So I took it to the Mac store and they looked at it and they said, sure enough, you know, it's bad. So the good part is I had it, the graphics card replaced for free. Because as you can see here, Apple has it for uh, Mac, meets these requirements. Apple will replace the video card for free of charge for four years after the first retail sale of the computer. So I bought mine in mid-2011, I believe it was August, I think. So uh, I just made the window there, but that's why this video is important. I just, you know, I gotta say, hey, maybe you guys are having some kind of trouble like that. Just take a look. Yeah, Apple has these replacement programs. This wasn't, this one wasn't on their official site either. I had to dig around for it. So just search on Google and a lot of this stuff will come up. Before I noticed it, it, it was only a three year. They would only do it for three years and they actually extended it another year. So I mean, take a look at that stuff and uh, hey, I got a free graphics card out of it, great. If you're having trouble, pretty good chance that it could be recalled or in this case it was a replacement program so obviously they wanted it to fail first before they replaced anything that's one thing i'll give props to apple about they'll uh they'll have that also since we're uh on the subject here if you come up to your apple go about this mac and they got service here and you can go uh check my service and support and from what I'm told, I'm not under their coverage anymore, but uh, I believe if I heard right, if there was any like recalls on your computer, it would come up there too. So yeah. So really, this is just a reminder, if you're having problems, I type my problem in Google, people are saying they had this problem, and then somebody showed the link to the replacement program that I had. So yeah, it was a nightmare, but it probably took about two weeks, they got it back to me, and it's been running fine ever since. So gotta hand it to that. So double check your stuff. This is total bullshit. 
This is a huge story, and it's like it's just getting kind of swept under the rug. In the year 3000 AD on, apparently there's no life on the planet. Prime Minister <laughs> coming out, aliens are real. Yeah, they're real. No big deal, but hey. So yeah, so he disappears at 29, and all of a sudden, boom, he shows up here. By the way, we've discovered a base on the backside of the moon. They found these? Like yeah. Under the so it stopped at 10.06 and it says Swiss was engraved on the back. There's actually, he has a guy, a witness that comes up that did alien recovery. When I got out in 1989, we had cataloged 57 different species. 57 different species. No, the other two reactors are still working. There's people going to work in Chernobyl. There's two more nuclear reactors still running there. Holy fuck, you just yeah. blew my mind. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the west coast. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh my god. And when you burn thorium in a molten salt reactor, you get 99.999% burn up. Holy fuck. Men in black cars and men in black, Matt Wilson. Official policy regarding UFOs is that they do not exist. Uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft.